Hey, good morning everybody. It's a Friday morning. Sun's coming up, 6.30 in the morning. We are just getting ready to go. Truck just showed up. Got a house and garage we're doing today. All four inch, all 3,500 PSI with fiber. Mid-range water reducer. Got a little air in it for the garage. Two ten and a half yard trucks. We're hoping 21 yards will do it, but it's, it's gonna be close, so we'll see. Still pretty chilly out in the morning. It's, 30, it's in the 30s this morning. It's right around that freezing time. Yeah, some droplets of ice on the tower pole. But the concrete will melt that, but it's still a pain in the butt. It's pretty slippery. Pretty close, Paul. He's just a little more. Just a little bit more. Rain is on a rock, but right. probably won't get her to face this time. <laughs> Something to do with the sub base being cold, huh? That's what I'm saying. The base is cold. The top's dry in yeah. the middle of the creek season. <laughs> Go right up over those pipes. Yeah, a little bit, please. Yeah, go ahead, jump in.
again, yeah? No, she won't. No. Brian, you want to run this? What? You want to run this? I didn't wear my rubber boots. Oh. <laughs> I didn't wear them. But if you want me to swap boots with you, I'll be more than happy to do that. <laughs> We just thought you let your brother go first, because you're just such a well, nice... Well, that's the way he loaded him this morning. Such a nice guy you are. I am. I was skiing yesterday. I didn't go to ski yesterday. Yeah. Did we go to us? No. Uh, where did I go? Oh, I went to Troy Dunning down in Georgetown. Holy cow. Yeah. Okay. All the way down to the end of Georgetown. They can't hold the right there. Well, you told Dave you want the good driver, so he ships the other people to you. I don't blame you for a good driver. No, I'm talking about Georgetown. Wow, that's a nice ride down there, nice ride. It's gotta be an hour and 15 minutes, ain't it? That's an hour, a good hour, especially if you get stuck behind somebody who wants to do 15 below the speed limit. That's why you gotta get in front of them trucks and then they flow right down. Is the plan up Heartland open? I don't know, Mike. You don't know. I thought you was a resource of information. Well, I am, but not when it comes to concrete. What do they call these walls on a slab? Suppose I pour a slab, what do they call these little walls? A knee wall. A knee wall, that's what I thought. I'd Stop like it. to have a knee wall on my slab, too. All right, we got the guy for that. Now, how does that work with your garage doors? I mean, does it... We just, we don't put a knee wall there. I know, but if I want a 10 foot wide by an 8 foot door and I have a knee wall, that's not going to matter about the 8 foot door, right? Nope. Okay. What's new and exciting, eh? Oh, not as of yesterday. What are you going to do? Go hot top in your driveway? Yeah. yeah. You've had that concrete down a lot of years, though, Over 30. Who did that for you? The concrete? <laughs> Me and Bubba and Sean. That was before even you, right, Darren? I did parts of it. You did part of it? You did the, when you redid the bottom. Aren't you got a little teddy bear with the white form? I am, but that's got nothing to do with it. That looks like a convict, you said. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I guess you don't like on there. She's more refined than I am, I guess I'd say, you know what I mean? At least she thinks she is. I've heard some pretty cool things come out of her mouth. Looks like you're mostly directed at me. <laughs> no. It's a nice sweatshirt you got on there, bud. Yeah, check that baby out. I've been wearing it all week. Paul didn't do enough, so I don't think we'll have enough to do both the garage and this. Cut the garage down a little bit. We could. We gotta get rid of this thing. Alright. Bring the boot off. Yeah, that went pretty good. He didn't go quite as far as I wanted him to, though. I don't know, I don't think we're gonna have enough with just two trucks. Probably gonna have to order a balance. Alright, we're gonna have to get a little bit bigger than that. One of the keys with getting good pull flow marks is just going nice and slow, don't hurry. Don't push it out too fast. And definitely don't pull it back too fast, and it gives you a nice smooth surface. I like to overlap that ridge too, just a little bit on the way back. 
No, that, that keeps it from getting too deep. You can see it's probably what eight, between eighth and a quarter right now. Sometimes you don't want it any deeper than that. Another good reason to use the bull flow that's rounded. That doesn't leave as much of a bull flow mark as the square and ones do. Big is nine at four inches. So I think we're gonna use more than a yard and a half here. So even if we drop it a half inch, still not gonna have enough. I don't care to look over that. I don't wanna see it like that. Four, eight, 12, 16, 17 by, 17 by 10 roughly. So we got two yards here. We're gonna be two yards short. I'll have them send another two yards back. We be safe. You don't wanna drop it? Still not gonna have enough. Not really. Nope. Be too close to it. Yeah, we're gonna be two yards short, it looks like. Yeah, two, yeah. All right, thanks. Bye. Ooh. Gummy. Paul's gumming up. Thick in here, Brian, thick. Thick. Thick, yeah. I mean, we got to put a drain in the garage. <laughs> Weed water. So the ice. Oh, I didn't bounce. Scraper's right behind you. Um, I don't know. Two, four, six, seven. Seven by eleven or twelve. So there's one yard. Not enough. To be safe, well, I don't know. If we don't gain any, we're going to be in trouble.
probably take one yard right to here, right? Yeah, you're over halfway. That's a little bit bigger, but you got that. Now. 32, 32, 60, yeah. It's gonna be close. Well, 21 didn't come close to doing it, so we got a couple more coming, and I told him to send it back when we was doing the house, so to shorten up the amount of time between him and the balance load, I kind of made an educated guess. Probably should have got two and a half, but we're going to try to make, we'll make two do it no matter what, even if we got to drop that front just a little bit. It all slopes out that way anyway, so we'll just, we'll make it work somehow. It's going to be real close with two, though. All right, we've got a balance load. So there's a little confusion. The truck driver thinks he only got a yard put on him. Okay, no, nope, he just called to check. So, because uh, I told him two. Two is gonna, even two is gonna be really close. Probably should've got two and a half, but we're gonna make it work somehow. Even if we gotta drop the front just a little bit. So that's what, that's a good thing about porn garages, that slope. You can, you got a little bit of play in the front. You, you need just a little bit extra. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Go right in, Paul. Got any higher idea? No, I think we gotta drop it some more. Yeah, gonna have a little bit there. Just call him and get another yard. Hey, that didn't do it. We're gonna need another yard. Yeah, I know. I don't know. It just it, he didn't seem like he went very far for some reason. But yeah, another yard. If I know it's gonna mess you up a little bit, but we can't. If we we try. Okay, we tried dropping it. We just couldn't get it dropped enough. how much a wheelbarrow of concrete can just mess you <laughs> so now we got well he had ten and a half on right Brian yeah so let's say let's say he used two and a half there so he had eight in here so now we got ten in here and we dropped the grade and we still need more and I figured it was nine and a half the way it was right I wasn't anywhere near even though the middle was five and I went around measured all the edges they were four four and a half the middle must have been a lot more five than what I thought. It's crazy. How many yards at four inches should have been taken? At four inches, this thing? Yeah. I think it was nine and a half, I figured. I said, I just did a 27 by 27 on my calculator, it comes out as nine. Oh, that's what it was, nine. Nine, nine yards. Yeah. You know we got ten in there now. Oh, yeah. I don't even think that took two and a half up there. I think it was round two. But anyway, it is what it is. We'll get her. Yeah, at least Dave wasn't too busy. We don't have to wait for Paul to get back there.
Okay, so we got it now. Uh, had to order two balance loads actually. Which, you know, we thought the grade, we thought it was gonna take 21 yards, so two trucks, we, and we knew it was gonna be close. Didn't end up being really that close. The grade in the garage was a lot thicker than what we anticipated. Even though we shot grades, I don't know, it ended up being more closer to five inches than it was four. So when we got done the first truck, I knew we weren't gonna have enough with the second truck to do the garage, so I ordered two more yards, thinking, okay, two is gonna be plenty because he's gonna, just about do it anyway well sure enough the two yards we ran short as you saw we had to order another yard so that's something we don't have to do very often thank god he wasn't too busy this morning and we're not very far away from the plant so he could just reload them and get them right out here but that's something we don't want to do very often but other than that it went everything went pretty good it's pretty easy pours top wall in the house the garage slopes out the garage is about 28 28 all slopes out this way a couple inches and that's it guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one